Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Luca and in today's video we're going to be discussing the possibility of Marvel's Illuminati showing up in the new Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie. Let's get straight into the video. So first off, let's talk about the possibility of Patrick Stewart being either a new variant of Charles Xavier or one that we've had in the past. I personally subscribe to the belief or at least hope that we're going to get the OG Patrick Stewart from the Fox timeline. Patrick Stewart's performances in those movies was always something that we could hope and cling to. I would also like to see the possibility of Charles being Professor X from the animated 97 timeline that we're going to get on Disney Plus, which as far as I know is a continuation of the X-Men animated series from the past. So that would be interesting to see. Maybe we could have it be Professor X from the Deadpool universe, because that would be pretty interesting. We could have Deadpool be introduced into the MCU. Maybe even on the council, like the Illuminati himself. Like, how cool would that be? Funny as fuck, having Deadpool just be on the Illuminati team just to, you know, sprinkle in the fun. Next, let's discuss the possibility of Reed Richards' Mr. Fantastic being on the team. now. In the comics, he is an OG staple of the team. So is Doctor Strange, Professor X, Black Bolt, Namor. And, you know, these characters are some that we are dying to see. We've got John Watts directing Fantastic Four movie currently. I think he's penning the script as we speak. So fingers crossed for the Fantastic Four very soon. If we can't get John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic, I personally would be perfectly fine with everybody from the OG Fantastic Four movies getting their jobs back. So I'm talking Michael Chitlis as the thing, Jessica Alba as Sue Storm, Chris Evans back as Johnny Storm, and then we have Ian Grufford as Reed Richards. And oh, it would be so cool just to see those guys back on the team again. Uh, if we don't get Reed Richards, I would like to see Nathaniel Richards on the team. So I want Jonathan Majors to be de-aged and shrunk down skinny Steve Rogers style. And we could have him be the Iron, Iron Lad for the Young Avengers team as well. Because after seeing Jonathan Majors as Kang, I don't want anybody else. I personally think Jonathan Majors crushes that character. And I, I just don't, I don't want to see anybody else be Kang. In all honesty, I feel like Jonathan Majors did such an amazing performance as he who remains in Loki that nobody else could be uh, a Kang, to be honest. I don't want to see anybody else play Nathaniel Richards. I don't want to see anybody else play Ramata. I don't want to see anybody else in any of the personas because he is so good. Seeing Jonathan Majors be able to flex his acting muscles as he who remains and steal the last couple of episodes he was in on Loki was just amazing and it got me really yearning for more Jonathan Majors in the MCU and I really hope that we get that fulfilled sometime soon because I don't want to wait for Ant-Man 3. I want him now. Multiverse Black Panther. It seems like I'm not the only person online that has this theory but I reckon that we could be getting a Black Panther or a Killmonger variant be it Michael B. Jordan or somebody else but I think that if it was going to be a Black Panther variant that the only way we could do it is have a multiversal variant I would love to see someone like Denzel Washington cast as a wise old T'Challa throughout the multiverse and if we was going to get a Killmonger I feel like Michael B Jordan is the perfect casting so if we got Michael B Jordan to do a new variation of Eric Killmonger that would be great because the person that we saw in What If, he was so different to the person that we got in Black Panther. And it was great seeing how Michael B. Jordan portrayed them completely different. I think that we could have Baron Mordo being on the team as either the Sorcerer Supreme on the Illuminati Council or just somebody who either works for the Illuminati or is on the council but he just isn't the sorcerer supreme maybe he, he took out the sorcerer supreme so we could have defender strange 
who I think personally is the one that turns into the zombie in the trailer. He could be the Illuminati's Sorcerer Supreme on the council and Mordo could be his close advisor or still his teacher in a way because I feel like Wong is still teaching Steven even though he is Sorcerer Supreme. Well, not technically anymore. But I feel like Baron Mordo rocking these dreads, kicking ass, could definitely be a glow up in the sense of this is a more powerful version. He looks like he's beefed up as well. And seeing how Stephen Strange is beefed up as well, I feel like beefing up would also make a lot more sense. There's a lot more dangerous threats nowadays, so it's also better to be physically fit as well as mystically fit. I think that the outcomes and the repercussions of Multiverse of Madness are going to be that either we have a brand new reality where everybody has been condensed into one Earth, essentially or maybe even have some people displaced from their own realities, almost like with the blip, where people just randomly disappeared and reappeared. And we had the Global Repatriations Agency in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Guys, that's the end of today's video. I've been your host, Luca. If you've liked the video, please click the like button. Comment down below what you think is gonna happen in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness if you think any of my theories are correct. If you wanna watch my Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness reaction trailer, click here. If you wanna go and watch any of my other videos, click here. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I've been your host, Luca. Peace.